What is up, everybody? It's your boy CrazeBase98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the EHG community. Uh, today is a sort of a different, um, a different video. Uh, I know some of you guys have been watching my videos, and some of you guys have been seeing, like you know, face cam. You know, sometimes like certain aspects of like you know all different types of gameplay from me. But um, I I'm actually doing this video so you guys should know who I am a little bit more. Um, a lot of you, like a lot of you, probably wondering who is this guy who is just a regular person on you know YouTube doing video games and everything so I'm gonna give you a little rundown of um of who I am and uh like you know like from beginning to end so like from like beginning of my life to like now at the moment at the moment so uh well I was actually I was born in Brooklyn in Brooklyn New York and I actually used to live in a apartment with uh with my grandparents at the moment uh because my mom was you know working a lot and i would like to stay with my grandparents a lot so she as much as um you know my mom and my dad were working and they were um together uh i just i just prefer to stay with my parents most of the time because my big brother was there and he was going to school there Milton he was going to elementary school now uh with doing that I was I was either you know upstairs in my um in my own like I would say in my own place I would say upstairs in my grandparents house and then I would probably go to the second floor to see another kid named Eric um who was a neighbor of us where I used to play uh, things or uh, watch him play things like uh, Wolfenstein. I actually saw him play Wolfenstein and like like Doom and games like that. Or I would go downstairs to see my aunt and her um and my uncle and my cousins. Where you know we would have so much fun. We would just talk. We would we would just um we would just relax and everything. And even to a point where um there was this one room I was afraid to go into because there was a pet taran tarantula so I was afraid of tarantulas that was a major thing now it got to a point where I had to start going to school so they so my mom ended up buying a house with my dad and I was in school in in the YMCA I was I believe preschool in the YMCA and um with that I have uh I have like you know started you know school I was actually a really really bad kid in school I was terrible uh, I was terrible to a point where you know like I was in trouble every day I would cry because my parents left because I was afraid I was so afraid I was just like afraid to like um like be alone without my parents during the time so I would throw tantrums and then it would get to a point where I would be you know just like I didn't I didn't know how to react. I would always get into a fight with someone um, in school. So that was a major thing. Uh, another thing that um, that kind of made, you know, things a lot difficult, especially was, you know, I, I, I was just I was just like, you know, doing like things like in regards to just I, I, I was I was causing just a lot of trouble just like a lot of trouble and I just didn't know a lot of people so I was just the the, the bad kid in that um in that class uh, things started getting a little bit different um when I went to Mary G Clarkson school in Bayshore and with that you know I had you know people you know a couple of friends there here and there I knew um people like you know I would say like one of my sponsors uh, uh Travis and I've known him for like since uh, first grade, which is actually pretty cool. And uh, it was him. It was a lot of different other people that I've known. And uh, I, I, it was so weird because of the fact that you know I, I was also not happy in that school. Uh, most of the time, I never really wanted to hang out with friends. I didn't have that many friends to hang out with. I didn't have a lot of people to like me because I was a tattletale. I was that I was that tattletale who would tell on anybody until I got to like you know fifth grade, 
and with that you know a lot of people hated me a lot of people dis disliked me and um I, I i dealt with a lot like you know people saying that they don't like me people say they had uh, telltale people say i was dealing with a lot of things um I, I i ended up having a lot of people not liking me just not liking me at all so that's a major thing so that's a major a major major issue um when i got into uh, Garner Manor School, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, it got worse to a point where I was like being bullied on a day -to -day, on a day to day basis for no reason. Everybody was there making fun of each other. Um, I had great teachers, um, but with that, you know, I hated a lot of things in regards to some some uh, like even being into those classes. Like we would have good trips, like or good good events, like you know, like Thanksgiving. We would have, you know, amazing trips. Like, we went to the Bronx Zoo. We went many places. But then, you know, I hated, you know, I was being treated to a major extent. Now, with that, I did grow, I did gain one of my first best friends. Uh, she was, she has been my best friend since fourth grade. But for the last couple of years, we kind of uh, lost contact with each other and uh you know it, it's it's kind of weird because i i, I want to say her name but i can't say her name to tell her that i do miss her a lot but you know i i've known her her sister um her mother to a point when they were at one point we went, used to go to church together and you know i i really did do miss her dearly dearly because she's been my only friend since then i've never really had that many friends since for a while um, ended up developing um, later in years as like especially during middle school as more of a of a of a crush thing but then I just I just I just end up got to a, getting to a point where we, we were only just gonna be friends so there was like there was like no point in it so when I moved into the the middle school area it was it was hell for me um, it was hell for me because of the fact that you know there were certain things that I did I didn't even know that were bad like, I didn't know it would bother some people so I wouldn't know um, I, I wasn't really the the smart the smartest kid I didn't really care that much about school because I wasn't really motivated to be in school and especially where I was going through hell back and forth because during the time from elementary and to now my parents were being separated we were they were like you know having their own things you know at times I actually you know despised my own mother and I hated my own father so it was a major thing of why, you know, I had so much anger and so much pent up frustration and sadness and developing into depress depression. Now, when it developed into that, it, like I was just thinking like it was just like not, it, it, was, it, it wasn't even clinical depression. It felt like, like, you know, just being upset all the time, no reason to actually like, you know, get into like being upset like it felt like in a type of way of just like being sad and no, not like giving up like i just didn't even bother but at the end of middle school i met a bunch of my best friends um my friend lewis uh byron uh, uh alex christian uh a lot of people i know um you know moises uh his brother juan who one is still my best friend um, I, I, I've grown to know them a lot more and at first they even told me they were like oh dude like at first we just want to use you for your pool until like later on they realized they're like yo this guy is actually pretty damn cool man and then we started doing things like hanging out every day you know sleeping over the house like sleeping over each other's house chilling at each other's house walking down the block you know you know going to a place called Quick Check to go get like you know Arizona's hanging out by Mary G Clarkson you know playing video games you know Christian would come over to use my computer and everything and hang out you know um, 
Lewis and Byron would love to come hang out. Byron and I would be playing Nintendo um, DS. We would be playing um, Mega Man Star Force. And, um... Hey, um, we developed, like, friendships I mean, uh, to a major extent in high school. Even to a point where Byron, um, when Byron and Lewis moved, uh, Byron wanted to stay at my place to finish school. So we, um, he stayed at my place to finish school to get a job. Uh, I tried, I was jobless most of the time. I was really doing nothing but being lazy to get a job. But sometimes I, when I tried to apply a job, I wasn't really good at it. I always wanted to work at the GameStop. I was always good at, you know, with games. I was good at selling games. So that was a major point of that. So I don't know on mostly anything until I developed a wanting to draw and to become a better artist. So with that, that was a major thing. Um, during that time, I have dated. I have um, dated a couple of nice girls, you know, here left and right. Um... I, 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 there was one that I dated a long time ago. I broke up with her on Valentine's Day, which was like the worst idea ever. Um, it was, it was because I guess I was more of afraid that, that, you know, if I were to do something wrong, no, I wouldn't say like I were to do something wrong. I was afraid mostly because you know getting into that relationship and then the friendship was lost because we've been friends since middle school it was a major um i thought it would be something that would change us and it kind of did because i kind of ruined the friendship and we're no longer friends which kind of sucks um I, I can understand why and i don't blame her um throughout um, middle school middle school and high school i was always in um summer school i when it came to like not caring for classes, I didn't care for any of the classes. I didn't care about doing any of the projects. I didn't care about doing any of the homeworks. I didn't care at all. They, they asked why, and I'm like, I'm just they don't want to do them. Um, it was because I wasn't motivated. I wasn't motivated to do any of that. I wasn't motivated to do any type of homework. I wasn't motivated to do any type of stuff like that. All I wanted to do was play video games because video games was my gateway away from the real world it was literally my gateway because of the fact that I was dealing with other people I didn't like other people I just chilled I just went and went home playing my ps2 or when ps3 came out I got a ps3 you know you know my mom bought me a ps3 and you know Street Fighter 4 and everything there I was playing Batman, I was playing, you know, God of War, I was playing all these different games. And I loved it to a point where when I went to GameStop, I kept on trading them in for new games. So, uh, like, it, it, and then I ended up meeting nice people at GameStop. People, like, you know, taught me how to play uh, uh, video games, you know, fighting games. And then I realized, like, you know, I, I had a love for Guilty Gear, you know. But, um... To the major extent, uh, video games became a thing. So my 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 parents and my brother tell me he's like, why don't you go on to make your life into video games, like something with video games. So I developed to want to do things for video games, going into game art, um, studying about you know, like the history of video games, um, studying about you know. Like, like coding like C++ and then you know um, you know m many different things about video games I was just a gaming nerd and that's all I was um, and besides it was video games like away from my escape it was either um it was other things like like game grumps uh, it was uh, the awesome series by ego Raptor it was you know angry video game nerd it was like all those type of Things that literally led me out to stay away from it. a lot of things outside. I would never want to go outside. I would never want to go other places. So my my friends and I would usually be at the mall and just hanging out, or be at each other's houses playing video games, chilling. And um, with that, we we were chilling most of the time. We were relaxing, you know, having fun. 
and uh, I guess that leads up to like high school where we went to high school you know saw each other in the morning sat at the same table everybody was relaxing I felt out of the group with my friends I felt I was left out a lot even though I gave um and you know I felt like you know even during that time I was mistreated uh, it, it's better now because I spoke to them about it and they were like yo no, I didn't I didn't know that way man I'm sorry and it was like a whole thing we all it was apologies like it was understanding all around and you know we just we, we, we we're really good friends now and um it got to high school where I still didn't care about school I was in summer school every summer I didn't even care about summer school I was like a grade behind I hated classes I didn't like any of the teachers there um, like I, I think a handful of teachers I did like I didn't even care I just I just didn't I didn't care too much I didn't care at all I, I like it got to a major point everybody was doing their work when I wasn't doing that work or not paying attention everybody would get frustrated at me so I was like I don't care I just don't care enough People try to convince me like there was only one teacher that would try to convince me and do the work just to get out because he knows that I, I don't he, he he realizes that this stuff is not for me like 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 the science like the like like the math like all that he sees that I like video games I like every I like anything of our work he's like dude just get the high school degree get the hell out and then trust me there are colleges that don't even require like even a grade point average even some jobs you can get without even going to college and then and you know because he kept it real with me he kept it real with me it was um it was a science teacher of mine i i liked him a lot because he was he knew my brother not just not just that he, he knew my brother he was very nice to me he was real real and he tried to make sure i he helped me graduate so i was able to graduate um, I had to do summer school my last year. I graduated um, two year, two months after everybody. But I graduated in the same year. Um, sadly, during that time, uh, you know, uh, it was it was a very rough time because my uh, grandfather had passed away, and uh, with that, you know, I, it was difficult to be up there to try a smile where um you know he wasn't really there at the moment because well yeah because he passed obviously so it was a very rough time for a lot of people um during that time with during high school i didn't want to see my dad i was angry all the time my mother i hate like i was just despise i despised like both my parents so it got to a point where you know I had to like because of my grandfather passing it led to them actually compromising once like one at least one time and you know things like arguments and issues like my um, my brother me my little brother had to deal with a day to day basis because of that and uh, it, it was just it was just it was just certain situation that we dealt with but you know a lot a lot of things were, were different and a lot of issues were different and you know through that I ended up staying home when I was 18 or 19 decided to move to Florida go to full sale um, I was dating someone for almost two two years which the relationship was way off the wall it was crazy that it ended the wrong way now we don't talk as much as I as much as I do miss her as much as I do regret some of the things that I did probably things that happened between us um you know she's doing better now she's doing what she wants to do um and they're failing out of college because of the issues I was just falling into depression you know not being able to sleep at night and uh, you know at times I wouldn't eat for like couple of days I wouldn't sleep for a couple of days um, until it gets to a point where I was like oh you know what I just I just gave up and then I ended up falling, failing out of college now with that I did get hands-on you know 
you know, on some programs for gaming, uh, Unity, Unreal, you know, Maya program with some code, with some coding stuff. And um, you know, I, I got to a point where I was using like Photoshop, you know, Illustrator, all, all that good stuff. And you know, I I I got tired of it. I wanted to make a game. I wanted to do a lot of things until I realized, okay, so what can I do to make things better, or what can I do to provide for like like something that I like to do? Went into YouTube. Went into streaming video games, streaming um, um live with my friends, um to a point where. I, I wanted to build a PC. I used um, recording. I learned to record. I learned video editing, and I'm here right now. Um, it's it, it's it, it was a long road. There was more. There's more to these stories that it's just like a short summary right now. There's more to many parts of these stories. Um, uh, I know this is gonna, just gonna be a part one to this, but I want I want the people who subscribe to me and people who come to my channel to know who I am so that's a major thing of that so I just really hope that this gives a little summary of what I am but there's gonna be more topics like this um definitely subscribe to the EHG community definitely turn on your notifications when we get new streams and new videos set out definitely join us on our Facebook group our discord channel make sure to subscribe to our moderator support our sponsors and make sure to support to support the people in neon public and also check out our merchandise but this is your boy Crazy Mace 98, aka Nicholas Morales, founder of the EHG community. And uh, this is a um, this is just like a little short video of who I am. Um, there's gonna be more different topics that I express about my my life and other things, just so you guys should know who I am. So um, thank you very much, and uh, stay tuned for another video.